Hi, I'm Susan Crouch here in Joe's Test Studio, and I'd like to share a couple of tips with you that have been helpful to me in my watercolor journey. Maybe they'll help you too. And the first is a little idea notebook, and this doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy. It's just a little spiral, but it's a place for you to, to capture the ideas that you get for your paintings that might otherwise just get lost in the busyness or the shuffle of life. And I'm not talking about a, a full-blown plan. I'm talking about just a thought, a seedling of an idea that might be uh, a good springboard for a, for a painting later on down the line. And I'll give you an example of a couple of ideas that I caught for future paintings. Um, just one little entry here it says, Backyard Deciduous Azalea. And a little further on down the page, neighborhood crows, colorful blacks, just, just ideas that might be good springboards for a, a painting later on. And I think it was Linus Pauling, the scientist who said, um, the way to get a good idea is to have lots of ideas. And if you've got a little idea notebook like this, you've got lots of ideas to work from. So that's the first tip. Second tip is to keep a painting file. And this is something that I do for almost every painting I do. And I'm going to show you the painting file that goes with this painting called Sunkissed. And generally what I do when I am working on a painting, I'll journal as I paint and just make notes about some of the things that I'm learning. It could be um, color combinations. It could be techniques. Um, I'll make notes about things that worked, things that didn't work and just kind of keep a running journal all during that painting process. The next thing that goes in this um, painting file would be any reference photos that I used, um, black and white or color. My value sketch goes in here. That's one of the most important parts about my painting preparation. And a color sketch, the, the way my colors are hanging together. Um, I like to practice those on paper first. So all these things go in the painting file. And when you think about it, every painting is a learning experience. And it makes sense if you want to hang on to the things that you've learned during the process of painting. You can retrieve that later, use it for future projects. So that's the idea of the painting file and the idea notebook. Tips that have helped me, I hope they help you too. I'm Susan Crouch. Thanks for stopping by.